I think everybody by now, especially by the time of uploading this, has heard of Godot's controversy. If I were to go, can't, nope, I'm going to do it in a new tab. But anyway, so you've probably heard it already, and there's already a fork for it. So we support Redo. It is time for the gaming industry to be free of propaganda and ideological platforms. So this kind of comes off the feet of Godot doing things that are kind of like lean toward one way or another, not quite focusing on their get on the game engine, I guess you could say. So Redo Engine is a new open source fork of Godot with the goal of fulfilling pro the promise of Godot. We will be having a space on Friday to formally launch and share and let us know what you want to see us cover. So, I mean, maybe they'll solve issues that Godot hasn't solved in a bit, but we'll see. Uh, just scrolling through the X feed so far, real developers are just going to abandon the project. In fact, it's already happening. Numerous devs announcing plans to either drop Godot or adopt Rito, the new fork. Um, let's see, Monarch Cyber Solutions. Cyber Solutions Business, Orthodox Christian Own, Make America Holy Again, got interesting. Okay, that was fast, amazing. Good luck, guys. We have officially forked Godot. Thank you all for the huge reception so far. Stance is this this is for is this is for promoting the engine games and members of the community this account is not a platform for anyone's political or religious ideologies so don't promote this is for pro promoting the engine games and members of the community the account is not a platform for anyone's political or religious ideologies if you want to promote an ideology use the fork make a game and do as you wish so if you want to promote your religion or whatever is or political ideology do it in a game not on the official social media for the game engine which is kind of what Godot didn't exactly do is what a lot of people are arguing we're already looking at the source codes and taking account of what things we can fix asap join the discord and start giving us feedback on what you would like to see Unless it here on official Discord by founding member, any Rado socials that make statements, endorsements, or comments could be assumed to not be accurate or official. We have Discord, Instagram, X, and YouTube where any changes or updates will be posted. There is a hunger for what we are offering. We went from 0 to 500 in less than 6 hours since we formed our project with 4 founding members. Our Discord has spiked to 150 members of that over 50 plus are game developers. So they've got over a third of people on the Discord being game developers as of that point, 16 hours ago. Several game developers have already expressed interest in going through us for future engine needs. We will work hard to earn all the support given so far. Signing out for now, even if you don't use us for your engine needs, we would still love to hear feedback about what would be features, quality of life fixes that would attract you to using us. Goes to sleep, peace, wakes up, 500 plus notifications, and 16,676 16 followers in the first 12 hours of this project's existence. Thank you for all the support. So it's it's growing quite handily. Um, Godot founders taking their engine to the grave. Let's see, update 1,676 followers on X. Discord is now sitting at 176 game devs and nearly 500 members. So a sizable portion of the Discord is made up of game developers. Sad to about the current situation, sad to see basically they doubled down on this and then blamed the people who were blamed. Banned, I'm shocked they haven't blocked us yet, but how would they know since they seem to block any dev remotely critical of things happening? Made Godot homophobic. More than a few responses of this type, I'm genuinely confused. Why do we, as a game engine, care about your sexual preferences? We are merely building community that is worried about improving an engine. So it's about focusing around the engine rather than around the ideologies or politics for it, around it. Which is really what software should be about, is improving the software, not the ideologies around it. If you want to promote an ideology, build a different project around specifically that. If you want to build a good game engine, focus on that. Apparently there's a fork getting started of devs committed to keeping politics out of the engine. Redo. Okay, so yeah, there's the pinned one from all the way down talking about their space. Again, Discord's right there. GitHub is pulled up right here. 
So as noted, Rido basically forked the whole organization over from Godot. You've got the demo projects. You've got Rido CPP, which is the C++ scripting for Godot originally. The docs, you've got the awesome stuff, which is scripts, plugins, and stuff for it, and then the engine itself. So as it stands currently, um, it hasn't done any rebrand. They haven't done any rebranding as of yet. I believe that should be in the works, I would think. So it is mer it's up to date with oh, Master on Godot. They haven't done any commits as of yet, it looks like, for switching over branding, which is kind of a key part of it. There are some projects I've started that in Godot that I haven't worked on in a bit, but this would be interesting to see because I'm pretty sure you can just like drag and drop your game over that's in the engine and it'll work. So GitHub's linked there. They don't have a website like Godot does, it looks like. We go back through uh, the feed so far. The Grums is all on top of it. The, every there, there are a few people that blame Grums for starting issues with Godot, but we're not focused on that. So, Redo is purely forked Godot at this point. Rebranding has to be done. They do have a really cool, lo like, nice logo for it. Honestly, for the organization, um, that. It's a basic R, I know, but it kind of does the job. It's really nice looking. Let me figure out the Discord, and then we'll go from there. Actually, if you want to join the Discord, I'd have to make room for Discordy or stuff anyway. But you can join the Discord for Rido, and there are some people that are doubtful that Rido can take off. But if they've already got like four founding members and people that are funding it, then I don't see why they could, couldn't make it work. If you've already got a group of people that are backing your project, then I don't see why it would fail outright. There, there may be some loss here and there, but if you stick to what you're doing and everybody's sticking behind you, and with your 150 plus game developers and your organizations that are backing the engine, then I don't see how you can't have a successful engine like Godot built up. And remember, Godot built up off of controversy from Unity because people kept People switched over from Unity to Godot because Godot didn't have the same licensing stuff that Unity was going, that Unity would eventually backpedal on. But then Godot pulled this, so either, and Godot hasn't quite backpedaled on some of the stuff that they've decided, that their community managers have decided to do. And so now there's another engine, people jumping ship from Godot. Some people are like, well, Godot still works kind of, and then maybe this fork will actually address issues that a lot of people have with Godot and actually do spearhead getting those things fixed and make it a better engine, better open source engine, which would be really, really cool to see. But yeah, Redo, if you're interested in it, don't want, if you want something that is focused on being a good engine, Redo may be your option People think that, well, a fork, it's a fork, it may fail, so here we go. But we've seen forks take off in the past above the original project. So it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen a fork launch and overtake the original project. Libre off it, honestly. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe. 
leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.